What's happening, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today, man. And first and foremost, a big, big thank you to all of you who have subscribed to Football Therapy. And I'll tell you why, man, because we have surpassed the 50k mark. That's right, over 50,000 subscribers. The channel's basically one year old, and we've reached over 50k. Absolutely incredible scene. So... Join in celebration with me by liking this video. <laughs> and why not join the party, man? Subscribe if you're new to football therapy. It's real fun. Obviously, mainly I do Chelsea Football Club videos, but I'm starting to branch out a little bit. Like, of course, I recently did the Newcastle United video, and I will be doing more different videos for other clubs. So do sub and thank you all for supporting me so far. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about next season's front three for Chelsea Football Club. Of course, that being Tammy Abraham, Christian Pulisic when fit on the left, and Hakim Ziyech on the right. Now, I wanna talk about their numbers, play styles, and why really they could be one of the most threatening front threes in the Premier League. And if they gel, who knows? Maybe even the most threatening front three? Liverpool and City fans won't thank me for saying that, but I'm going to explain some numbers why really they could be up and around it. Basically excellent. With Tammy Abraham and Christian Pulisic, I'm going to be talking about their expected goal involvements per 90. Sounds very nerdy, I know, and in a way it is. But in case you don't know, expected goals and expected assists is a way of measuring what players should be doing in terms of how they're playing. You know that kind of intangible thing when someone's in and around the box and they're playing really well, you can't really explain it, but basically this is a way of measuring it. So if someone's got a high XG, it means they're running into the box well, they're basically playing well offensively and getting themselves into scoring positions. Expected involvement per 90 essentially is how much you're expected to goal or assist per 90 minutes. Simple, you know? For example, if a striker scores a goal every other game, that's a decent enough return. That's a goal every 180 minutes. But their number might reduce slightly if they get the old assist in there, which would be goal involvement per 90. It's not that complicated. I'll explain it as we go. The numbers are sourced from understat.com, so you can go and check it yourself. But with Hakim Ziyech, because they don't cover the area of Izzy, I'll just be talking about his numbers generally. And... Believe me, they speak for themselves. So, Chelsea want a striker, but as far as we know, the starting number nine is young Tammy Abraham. He scored a bunch of goals in the Premier League this season, but probably played a little bit too much football and had been played through injury. Tammy as a centre forward is pretty much has it all. He can hold the ball up now, a lot better certainly than he used to. He can run in behind, and he is very technical. He's good at combining, whether he's chesting down to tee up Mason Mount, doing a header down across goal, or indeed just doing one-touch combinations around the box. He is a striker that has it all. Sure, he needs to hone a few of his skills, but generally, He's a, I don't want to say a jack of all trades, but you know, he's got all the attributes. Plus he's got the height as well, so he can win aerial duels. And he's actually pretty fast considering he's a big, tall, lanky dude. So, in terms of goals and assists, what's Tammy Abraham's expected involvement per 90 mins? It's actually 0.74, which is very healthy indeed. Which is pretty much indicating every two games he should have one and a half goals or assists, which is a very healthy offensive return. Now, Tammy Abraham has frustrated here and there, but he's only really underperforming these numbers a tiny bit by 0.4 goals, actually. But if you look at the likes of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang for Arsenal, he's such a lethal marksman, right? He actually outperforms just his XG alone by five goals. Goals. So he doesn't he basically needs half a chance and he will score a goal of Bamiyang. Of course Tammy Abraham is far off that kind of ruthless gunman level, but still he actually scores decent goals and he's get most importantly with Tammy Abraham, he gets himself into loads of scoring positions, he's making the right runs. Of course, there was that sort of section of match of the day where well, you know Alan Shearer, Ian Wright. Gary Lineker, all elite strikers in their day, they were all praising Tammy Abraham, saying, look, he's doing absolutely everything right. He's just got to work on a few things and he will be there. Remember, Tammy Abraham is only 22 years old and he's barely just put the Chelsea number nine shirt on. So positive things to come. And if he keeps these numbers up of expected goals and assists going into next season with a little bit of improvement, Chelsea's number nine could be pretty lethal. 
Next up, Captain America himself, Christian Pulisic, young 21 year old American, came into the team, had to be taken out for a little bit by Frank Lampard, but when he settled in properly, man, the boy exploded. Of course, he scored a perfect hat trick away at Burnley, but in terms of his play style and what he offers, Pulisic is a lethal player. He can run in behind, he's really, really fast, he can dribble, he can combine, and apparently he can score headers. Pulisic can use both feet as well. He's actually, and people haven't seen the best of him yet in the Premier League, but he's an amazing winger, offensively, creatively. He has so much more room to grow as well. He could evolve into one of the Premier League greatest wingers. Sounds like a sweeping statement, I know, but it's true, man. Not a striker like Tammy Abraham, Christian Pulisic's expected contribution per 90 is pretty much nearly the same. Instead of 0.74, it's 0.7, which for a winger, <laughs> yes, it's a very, very healthy return indeed. Pulisic is actually also underperforming his expected metrics, but by 1.2, which is interesting because he seems to have done really, really well, but this is just testament as well to him getting into loads of offensive and dangerous positions. He runs in behind loads, he can get in and around the box, and he can dribble into the box not stylistically like Hazard, he's a little bit different, but he can dribble with both feet and play between the lines, basically always threatening. It was a massive blow to Chelsea Football Club when Christian Pulisic got injured, but the way he plays, as long as he's on the pitch, the opposition don't really know how to deal with him on his day. Like Tammy Abraham, very, very young, just got into his 20s and has a lot of room to grow, but if he keeps up these expected offensive metrics with a little bit more coaching and settling into the Chelsea team, he is a massive threat. And of course, the player to complete Chelsea's front three for next season is Hakim Ziyech, the new boy from Ajax. Now, like I said, I don't have the expected metrics for Ziyech, but to be honest, man, he kind of speaks for himself. Across Europe and the league this season, he has got 8 goals and 16 assists. That is mental. Quite frankly, KDB numbers in terms of offensive output. And he's not just a like offensive marksman, assister, scorer. He's also a very, very creative player. I mentioned Kevin De Bruyne just now. Another metric which they are identical in is key passes, which is a huge, obviously important stat metric in terms of creativity. They both make 3.7 key passes per game, which is quite frankly insane from both Hakim Ziyech and Kevin De Bruyne. So Ziyech can score goals, boy can he register assists as well. I, I imagine his goal contribution per 90 is actually through the roof, but also he can come inside and be very, very creative indeed of all those key passes. To, you know, if there's on running midfielders, he can set them up and combine offensively and Chelsea can score loads of goals and they should be able to all complement each other well. You have the dribbling and running in behind of Christian Pulisic, the hold up play and aerial dominance of Tammy Abraham and the creativity and left boot of Hakim Ziyech. The front three of Chelsea Football Club this season, next season, going forwards generally, can be absolutely incredible. Of course, people are talking about Chelsea buying another striker, but these three players, once settled, with a little bit more development, can be an incredible force across English football and indeed in the Champions League. So, what do you guys think? I'm keen to get everyone's thoughts and opinions on these three players that I've spoken about moving into next season. How do you feel about Tammy Abraham? Do you feel he can develop more of his game, score more goals, hold the ball up even better, become a little bit more of the Didier Drogba 2.0? Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comment section below. And how do you feel about Captain America, man? He came into the scene, exploded, played some wonderful football, and then obviously got injured rather frustratingly. Obviously he's fit and good to, to, good to go again now, but let me know your thoughts on Pulisic. And of course, I think everyone's excited to see Hakim Ziyech in the Premier League, so get down in the comment section below and express yourself on that too. Of course, man, if you've enjoyed the content that I've given you today, I would appreciate you liking the video. And a massive thank you to everyone again for subscribing to Football Therapy. We hit the big 50k mark and we're going to keep going. Like I said, I'm going to do more videos about different clubs now as well. It's going to be really interesting, hopefully. So make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on social media as well, at Football Yannick. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that is sadly not happening at the moment. And I will see you later. Always
so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me back